In this video, I'll discuss the building of Section A, the foundation of the Beacon Hill Dollhouse Kit Assembly Instructions. So the very first thing I do is I look at that section and I look for the parts where it says R and P. So in other words, remove and prepare, and then it lists out the things that you need to remove and prepare. So I locate which sheets it's going to be on, go through all the sheets in my kit, and separate them. Then I make sure that I locate that individual piece out of the sheet, and then start cutting it out of that sheet. So I use my X-Acto knife to first go along all the edges of that section and this, this is to ensure that when I pop it out, it's going to pop out as smoothly as it can, as evenly as it can without splitting the wood. Sometimes you'll find that the perforations aren't very good, and if you start to pop it out too soon, it's going to cause like splitting, or it's going to be kind of difficult. And so no matter what, I usually take that step. It's a, yeah, it's an extra step, but I take my X-Acto knife, go all the way around it, and then the one I end up using is a fairly dull blade, but at least it, it gets into the grooves. I then cut out like all these little tab sections that you can see on the on the foundation. And this is where other pieces are going to fit into it. And a lot of times it's hard to get those out, so I use like a, a small screwdriver and then just kind of put pressure on each one of those sections to force them to pop through. So as part of the planning, the overall planning of the house, I decided I was just going to stain the wood flooring to make it appear as though this is a wood floor. I know a lot of people do a lot of different finishes on top of it. I made the decision that I was just going to use the raw wood, stain it, polyurethane it, and call that my floor in the house. So you have to to do this you do need to know which is the top which is the bottom so make sure you have the right orientation in the floor and then stain the part that's going to be the the top surface after I stained and let that dry and I did that first I turned it over and then put my primer coat on the on the other side so the other side is going to end up being at the ground level in this case so it's going to be under under the house so it's not even going to be showing most of the time but I do go ahead and prime all of the pieces since the wood is porous it keeps it from absorbing too much moisture potentially warping in the future so next I restored and prepared some of the foundation pieces and then painted those with my primer and so one thing that I will point out here in this image uh, for this is as I was letting them dry, I laid these across spaghetti. So this way it keeps it just raised above the surface so that the paint doesn't stick to the plastic that I was using, uh, the, dr the plastic drop cloth that I was using to protect the surface here. And, and it doesn't stick quite so much to the spaghetti. So this was just a little tip that I've learned over time. And I think this is a, is a nice, helpful thing. The other thing that I do is all of the paint brushes, the rollers, everything I use, I will, after using it, I just wrap it in plastic. So I have like some plastic bags or whatever, cover it up. This seals it and keeps it from drying. So this way I don't have to like go back and wash and clean up those those rollers and brushes you know time and time again I just cover it when I'm ready to use it again take them out of the bag and then I'm ready to, I'm ready to go so once the pieces have dried it's ready for assembly so I turn it over where the underside of the floor is facing up I place the two foundation support pieces in a T where the backs the back side is butted up to the back side of the house. Now one thing I'll point out that I didn't, I wish I had done differently as you can see in this image. I had the floor, you know, stained, but then when the when the edge of the foundation butts up to the floor, I end up with a painted edge 
next to the flooring. I had to go back later, sand that down, restain it, but then it doesn't look as good. So it's something to be, you know, thinking of if you're doing something similar as this. Thanks for watching.